so the processor is in the motherboard as you've seen in the last part now let's take a look at the cooling system this is the CPU fan and I'll take it down for you to see and we have some additional uh, side fans let's take a closer look at this CPU cooler it is the biggest cooler I could get uh, NHD14 from Noctuae so let's unbox it again I, I read forums and reviews and benchmarks and they just said it's the best cooler so I hope I well probably I couldn't go wrong with this so this is the first box So there is the back plate and some screws. There is the manual, cables, and the thermal compound tools. And set for AMD. Okay, so much for tools. Let's take a look at the actual cooler. Oh no. It's quite big. <laughs> As you can see it's very tightly packed, so it will not get hurt in the mail. By the way, in this part, uh, there is no there there is no Michael behind the camera. <laughs> there is my girlfriend. You can have a look, say hi. No. <laughs> oh, maybe later. Okay, so here is the cooler. Uh, I don't know how can I grab it. These look like broken. Mm -mm. No? Um. But it's symmetrical, so <laughs> it's probably not broken. How can I grab this? Like this? So you can see her hand now. <laughs> <laughs> I will just. Christmas style. So we can see the two towers, we can see two fans, 140 millimeter and 120 millimeter, and all the other stuff. It's pretty big, but I think it will fit in the Cooler Master Cosmos S case. Okay, so I checked the manual online and it said that that we need to that we need to mount this stuff under under the motherboard there so I think for the fourth or third time we are go we are going to take it out and and use this uh, on top of the original backplate and will support the cooler What else? We'll have to remove this extension or this. Mm -hmm. I'm holding it. Unscrew. Yeah. And don't let it fall down. Ok, 
Okay, so the screws are done. So I'm going to take the motherboard out again. So there you see the default backplate, it's right behind the processor. And now we are going to we are going to use the four holes that are around here and there. In which we are going to plug the Noctua uh, backplate. Okay, so there is the back plate. We have to remove the rubber. Wait. Sixty. Yeah. No, don't touch it. Don't touch anything. Unless you have to. Yeah, the instructions said that we have to remove the rubber. So remove it. Here. No. There. But only the inside, this, this rubber. See? <laughs> <laughs> so we are removing the rubber because we have the so the 1366 socket. So there are four bolts. I'm so lucky to have such a finger agile girlfriend. <laughs> Are you using the A holes? Hmm? A? You yeah. <laughs> okay, so okay. it's ready. Step two is okay. Now we have to proceed to step three in which we are going to attach it to the motherboard. Okay, so this is how the plate, how the back plate should look like. Make sure that the screws are properly inserted. So they are in the one level with the back plate. Here you see the screws that are sticking through. They are from the back plate. We adjust it at the back side make sure you have the proper orientation because it will d determine the way the air blows and only a little bit is sticking out so so which hole the inner yeah. but inner are two You have to just Don't worry, yeah. just try. <laughs> Don't touch the CPU, please. No. It's the last one. Outer, yeah. So when you are using uh, 1366 socket, you need to use the Yeah, because outer we holes. Yeah, because we use used, the A yeah. hole. Isn't it touching the the components no. under okay so now we are going to fasten the metal thing for the cooler is in now we are going to put the motherboard back in the case and then we are going to install the RAM RAMs and then the cooler I think it's better to install RAM before the cooler because it will stick uh, here in this space and it may interfere with the RAM installation.